<laughs> Man, my feet are killing me today, babe. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't. I'm, I'm alright, just, you know, caring for this little one. Jeez, they weren't lying. It is a lot of work. <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm alright, just tired. <laughs> Takes a lot out of you. Are... Are you okay? You... You seem off. What's wrong? Baby... <laughs> I'm your wife. I love you. I always know when something's up. It's kind of... My job to be able to read you like that. So... Come on. Why don't you tell me? What's the worst that could happen? I judge you? Sweetheart, we've been married for three years. I've seen every part of you, and I love every part. You and I have come together to create a child. What's the matter? You're... scared? What are you scared of? When the baby comes, why are you scared? I I should I should be the one that's scared. You're worried you won't be a good father. Honey, you are an incredible husband, let alone an amazing man. You are going to be a fantastic father. What? Okay, and anger is a normal emotion. Our child is going to see us angry. They're going to see us happy. They're going to see us upset. It's gonna happen. You forget, one day, this little thing is gonna be a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that probably doesn't help. My point is... You shouldn't be scared to show emotions around our child when they come, boy or girl. You see, my dad, though not much anymore, when I was younger, I always remember him being real tough. And he didn't show a lot of emotion. In fact, the first time I saw him show much of any, well... That was a time where everyone was feeling those emotions. Yeah, I, I know. I'm going to get teared up about it because, well, I'm, I'm pregnant. <laughs> There's a bunch of emotions going through me, but my dad was always a very strong man. And up until high school, I hadn't really seen my dad cry. So, seeing this man, whom I thought was never afraid of anything, cry, well, it, it blew my mind. It, it scared me. I thought, if my dad, the strongest man I know, is crying, then something, something's really wrong. Like, I, I should be concerned. And it scared me because I'd never seen that from him before. And it took a while for me to understand that... Well, he does feel these emotions. And the world has come a long way from when we were kids. Let's be honest. It's come a very long way. And showing emotions is a good thing. You know, there's this man that I know. He gave up everything. <laughs> Just listen. He gave up everything. For me. For you. For our little one who's going to be here soon. He was the strongest man to ever exist. And guess what? 
he cried. And he was the best father the world could have ever known. <laughs> I know, you know. But knowing something and hearing it again are very different. Jesus wept. And he cried. And he got angry. And he got upset. And he had patience. And he was kind. I don't want our child to be confused about what they're feeling because we don't show them how to deal with those emotions. And I know I'm getting way off topic. My point is, you are going to be an amazing father. And you know how I know for sure I see it when you take care of me. Now you were on your feet just as long as I have been today, and I'm sure yours are aching. And you were going to set your stuff down and massage my stinky, gross feet. <laughs> I, I know. I know you love me. And I know that's why you're doing it. See, that's the thing, darling. Even when you're exhausted and the only thing you want to do is sit down and relax, you're realizing that someone you care about needs you. Or, heck, I don't even need my feet massaged. Your, your heart is so big and so kind. I couldn't help but, but fall in love with it. You go above and beyond for me. And our little one is going to be so spoiled rotten with love. That's probably going to be their first word is love because we're going to say I love you. I love you all the time. You say it a ton with me now. <laughs> I love you too. Do you see what I'm saying, my love? You're gonna be a fantastic father. Don't go getting all in your head about it, okay? I wouldn't have married you if I thought you were going to be a bad dad. Because our plan, God's plan, was to get married, to have kids, to grow some healthy humans. Mentally stable, healthy humans who will meet another human and continue to grow that. Isn't that beautiful? Darling, I... I understand 100%. If you're worried about being like your parents or my parents, who are far from perfect. I don't mean to insult my in-laws, but you know what I mean. Then maybe try and recognize those habits in yourself and start working on them now. It's never too late to try. It can always be better. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to be that better generation. We're going to raise our kids right, they're going to go to church, they're going to know God, they're going to know that no matter what, mommy and daddy and God are in their corner whenever they need us. There is not going to be a moment where they are not protected by us. You know how I know? Because there is not a moment where I am not protected by the love of my life. That's you, by the way. <laughs> really, though, honey. I paid very close attention whenever we would talk about getting married. 
are having kids. And I paid very close attention on how you reacted towards different things. During marriage counseling, during life. <laughs> because I picked up on those things. And I was careful about the man that I married. I wanted to make sure that, no offense, that I didn't have a child with the wrong man. Because there are people out there who are not fit for being parents. Let's be honest. Some people just should not have a kid. <laughs> but you're not one of them. You're someone I looked at and I was like, no, he needs to be a father. He deserves that. And so, <laughs> a father I made you. What do you mean the baby's not here yet? That doesn't mean anything. There is a heartbeat in my belly, and that means that there is life. <laughs> sure, maybe it can't talk to us or smile or laugh just yet, but I like to think when the baby is kicking that it's dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, stop. You're going to make me blush. I love you. I love you so much. Silencio Bruno. I know you're anxious, and I know you're insecure, and I know you're worried. I am too. This is scary. And you can only do so much to prepare. And you'll never feel completely ready. That's just a fact. <laughs> no matter how many people you ask, that's how it is. So, we'll be scared together. You and me. We'll do it together like we've done everything together. Yes. We can do it. I know we can. Because I love you, and you love me, and most importantly, <laughs> God loves we. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you're right. That sucks. <laughs> Back in Sunday school, they thought it was the best thing ever you know the parents are like oh that's so cool you know oh, that's so smart that's that's a great thing to remember i mean it's a good thing to remember yes that god loves us but gosh that's horrible <laughs> i don't know what they were thinking <laughs> i know exactly what i was thinking though when i married you I was thinking, well, if we're talking about when I said I do, I was thinking, I am so hungry, I cannot wait for the reception. <laughs> no, what, I, I actually was starving that day, um, but what was really going through my head was that I am so blessed. To be able to marry a man who is so wonderful, so wise, so brave, so strong, so godly, that I must be the chosen one. I must be the only person God has picked for this job. Because out of all of the other people that you could have met, that you could have fallen for, you picked me. And that is a real blessing. Mwah. I love you so much. And I promise you, you're going to be a fantastic father. Now, I've 
I've got to pee, and I'm very tired, so how about we get some sleep? Sound good?